A suicide attack claimed by the Islamic State group killed two Iraqi generals on Thursday in the key battleground province of Anbar, as the jihadists made gains in northern Syria. Is overran large areas of Iraq in 2014 and seized Anbar capital Ramadi earlier this year. It also controls major territory in neighboring Syria, where it has thrived amid a bloody civil war. Military spokesman Brigadier General Yirai Rasul said a suicide bomber in an explosives rigged vehicle struck the Al Jurayishi area north of Ramadi as Iraqi forces advanced. The attack killed the deputy head of the Anbar Operations Command, Staff Major General Abdul Rahman Abararif, and 10th Division Commander Staff Brigadier General Saifin Abdul Majid, Rasul said. Is claimed responsibility for the attack in a statement online but gave a different account of how it unfolded, saying it was carried out by four suicide bombers and two supporting gunmen who targeted the main command headquarters north of Ramadi. It said all six of the jihadists were killed. A statement from the Iraqi Joint Operations Command confirmed the deaths of the two officers along with an unspecified number of other heroic martyrs. The death or injury of senior Iraqi officers during battles against his is a persistent problem for the country. Two heads of the Anbar Operations Command have been wounded this year, while the commanders of a division and a brigade were killed in Anbar in April. The province's governor was wounded in 2014. Senior army and police commanders have also been killed in other Iraqi provinces since it launched its devastating offensive in June 2014, sweeping security forces aside. Is advances in Syria. Baghdad's forces have managed to regain significant territory in two provinces north of the capital, but much of western Iraq, including Anbar, remains outside government control. In Syria, is fighters seized five villages from rebel forces overnight in the northern province of Aleppo and entered the outskirts of a key opposition bastion there, the Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said. The jihadist group seized three villages near the town of Meria and entered its southern outskirts and took another two villages further north in Aleppo province, near the border with Turkey, it said. Those two villages were previously controlled by Al-Nusra Front, Al-Qaeda's Syrian affiliate, which withdrew from them after Turkey and the United States announced plans to cooperate on an is free zone in the area. Meria is one of the most significant rebel-held towns in northern Aleppo and lies on a key supply route running to the Turkish border. IS has targeted the town for months, seeking to expand westwards from territory it already holds in Aleppo province. The observatory said there were reports of dozens of rebel casualties in the fighting, but it had no immediate toll. Activists and medical organizations said this week they had documented an alleged chemical weapons attack, possibly involving mustard gas, on the town last Friday. Activists accused is of being behind the attack.